Pittsford residents and town officials there are concerned after a fatal motorcycle crash involving a motorcyclist and another vehicle. Today, the Monroe County Sheriff's Office is telling us speed could have been a factor in this case. Ericetta Costa is now live in Pittsford with the very latest on what we know so far. Ericetta. Good evening, and unfortunately, the motorcyclist did die, and the Monroe County Sheriff's Office says they were traveling north on Clover Street uh, when they were passing several cars on a road where passing was allowed, but towards the end, they lost control and crashed into an SUV, making a left turn, and that's where officers say the crash ended on Willard Road behind me. That's terrible. I mean, uh, I don't know what exactly has happened here. Mahesh Popley has lived off of Willard Road for four years now. He says he was upset hearing this news and has frequently expressed concern for speeding near his home. I mean, in this 35 zone, you can often see people driving 50, 55, 60. The roads are state-owned and regulated, so the town of Pittsford has no authority over them. Town Supervisor Bill Smith tells me he's reached out to the state on numerous occasions, expressing concern for this area, particularly the intersection of Clover Street and West Jefferson Road. Stephanie Townsend, town council member, says last night is not the first tragedy on Clover Street. Between 2005 and 2019, there have been four traffic fatalities on Clover Street, and that makes up 20% of the traffic fatalities across the town in that time. She says speed limits can vary as you go along the roads. It can be difficult for drivers to keep track of what the speed limit is in different sections of the road. Townsend says the traffic continues to increase over the years with more development and housing projects. The traffic and safety aspects are something she's also reached out to the state for. On multiple occasions, and they, in my opinion, have been very uh, rigid and um, very slow to act. I think they should be putting some kind of uh, breakers or something on the road so that people don't drive that fast. And sheriff deputies tell me the driver of the SUV should be okay. And again, they have reported that the motorcyclist was a dri was operating at a high rate of speed, according to what witnesses were saying. I've also reached out to the state Department of Transportation to see how it would work to if a municipality wanted to make changes moving forward. And I brought up their concerns as well. We have yet to hear back, and we will let you know as soon as we get a response. In Pittsburgh, Eric had a cost news eight. All right, Eric had a thank you. Town officials say another area of concern in that area is Main Street and Sunset set where a pedestrian was killed a few years ago. The town has advocated for a pedestrian activated flashing sign there, but town officials say the state has denied those requests.